Gawad sa manilikha ng bayan or national labor treasures, conferred on Filipinos who are at the forefront of the practices, preservation, and promotion of the nation's traditional folk arts. In April 1992, the Gawad sa Manilikha ng Bayan or the National Living Treasures Award was institutionalized through Republic Act No. 755. Tasked with the administration and implementation of the award is the National Commission for the Culture and the Arts, the highest policy-making and coordinating body for culture and the arts of the state. The NCAA, the NCCA, through the Gawad sa Manilikha ng Bayan Committee and Ad Hoc Panel of Experts, conducts the search for the finest traditional artists of the land, adopts a program that will insert the transfer of their skills to others, undertakes measures to promote a genuine appreciation of the arts, and steals pride among our people about the genius of the Manilikha ng Bayan. The main objective of the award is to honor and support traditional folk artists and see to it that their skills and crafts are preserved. The award is tied with a program that ensures the transfer of their skills to the next generation and the promotion of the craft both locally and internationally. In 2014, the Senate of the Philippines adopted Senate Resolution 765 aim at recognizing the accomplishments of the country's living treasures. The following are the categories. We have folk architecture, maritime transport, weaving, carving, performing arts, literature, graphic and plastic arts, ornament, textile or fiber art, and pottery. The award logo is a representation of the human form used in traditional cloth. Below the logo is the phrase Manlilikha ng Bayad, written in by Bayin, which is an ancient Filipino script used in the Philippines in the 16th century. The criteria in Gamaba or National Living Treasures are should be a Filipino citizen or group of citizens belonging to an indigenous or traditional cultural community anywhere in the Philippines, engaged in the Phil engaged in Filipino traditional art and other artistic expressions of traditional culture. Should have been engaged in the tradition and craft for a significant period of time with at least 50 years of existence and documentation. Should have produced and performed of artistic, distinctive, and superior quality. Should possess mastery of the tools and materials that are needed for the art and must have a reputation for being an art master and craft maker in the community where he or she belongs. And lastly, should have passed on and or will pass on the traditional crafts and skills to other members of the community by virtue of the chance. In case when a Manilikha ng Bayan candidate is incapable of touching further his or her craft and skill due to age or infirmity, he or she should have created a significant body of work and has contributed to the development of tradition and craft. He or she should have played a role in the preservation and revitalization of the artistic tradition in the community. And lastly, he or she has been recognized as a master of his or her craft and admired for his or her character and integrity in his or her community. The awardee receives a specially designed medallion or plaque with a duplicate set that should be donated to and display in a provincial museum or the largest cultural center in the awardee's community. The awardee is given an initial grant of 100,000 and a 14,000 and 14,000 lifetime stipend per month. The awardee is granted a maximum cumulative amount of 750,000 medical and hospitalization benefits, as well as funeral assistance similar to those received by the national artists. Again, as envisioned under RA 7355, Manlilikha ng Bayan shall mean a citizen engaged in any traditional art uniquely Filipino whose distinctive skills have reached such as a high level of technical and artistic excellence and have been passed on to and widely practiced by the present generation 
in his or her community with the same degree of technical and artistic competence.